We are in Kaliai today at the Grand Monte Winery. I'm with Nikki, the winemaker, and it's so glad to be back again here. We know the destination quite well, but we felt, you know, we really wanted to come back, uh, introduce you as well, and then so you can tell us a bit more about the winery, your recent awards, and maybe other activities when, when you come to Kaliai. So, Nikki, uh, maybe you can start and tell us a bit more about the family business because I understand there's a big heritage here in, in, in Grand Monte. Yes, yes. So, uh, Queen Cedric, we started Grand Monte in 1999 by our parents. Um, they liked wine and wanted to grow a little bit of grapes. So they started uh, purchasing this land, planted the vines, uh, but it was much smaller size. And once we started making some wine, there was more demand. So naturally, we we slowly expanded to the size that we are now. So um, apart from grape growing and wine making, which we do everything here, uh, we also have a, um, a wine tourism side. So we welcome visitors. We have a vineyard and winery tour, restaurant, salador, and the wine cottage, which is, which is our accommodation. So it's a complete package for someone who would like to spend time in a vineyard. Great. You've great. been overseas a couple of times this year mm -hmm. and you've won a lot of different awards. Maybe you can share with us a bit more about that. Sure. So um, recently we won uh, from AWC Vienna, which is uh, Austrian Wine Challenge. It's the biggest wine competition in Europe. Uh, we won Best National Producer from this competition for uh, five years now. And the most recent year is this year, 2023. Oh, great. And also, just a couple of days ago, uh, one of our wines won a really big award. It's a trophy from Hong Kong International Wine and Spirits Competition, organized by Cafe Pacific. And we won uh, Best Wine from Southeast Asia for our 2021 Durif, which is our, one of our the, the favorite red wines. Oh, fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. The label of the wine, right? I understand that... Um, the wine is um, the GI appellation of the wine, right? Maybe you can share a bit with us as well about that. Sure, the GI or the geographical indication is Khao Yai wine. And we registered this in 2017 because Khao Yai is a really uh, suitable area for grape growing in Thailand. It's not everywhere that you can grow grapes and make wine. And we have a unique soil here, which is um, uh, red clay with lots of limestone and be, because of the elevation here the climate is really cool so we have a long cool and dry winter which is really suitable for tropical grape growing so our grapes actually ripen in this season so with all these unique uh, points of our terroir we're able to register Khao Yai wine as a GI. So all the grapes have to be grown here. The wine is made from our winery packaging and everything is done here. So it's a, a kind of a guarantee of the origin and also the quality of the wine. Great. When you come to Khao Yai, you're looking for a couple of days to relax. What can you expect for a full experience here at the winery? For the full experience in Khao Yai, I definitely recommend a stay of minimum one night because um, even to enjoy the vineyard itself, uh, for the tour and a meal here, that would take three or four hours. And if you would like to stay the night, it, it's really nice because in the morning you see the sunrise over the vines. And um, around this region, there are many things to do as well. It's not just the vineyards. We have some friends who have orchards like a mango orchard and lots of um, organic vegetable farms and uh, art galleries. So right. there are many things to do except uh, no, apart from enjoying uh, wine and food here. Okay. And it's only a couple of hours away from Bangkok. Yes. If you have limited time and just come for a day trip, we have our vineyard and winery tour, which include a um, tour of the vineyard with a very uh, knowledgeable guide. Um, see our winery, all the winemaking facilities. And if it's during the harvest season, which is in February and March, you will see the winemaking process. So that, um, after the tour, then there's the wine tasting. Uh, so all of that will take about one hour and a half. And if you would like to have a meal here to complete the experience, that's another one hour, hour and a half. And so. take some goodies back home as well. Exactly. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Great. 
you cannot make it to Khaoyai, right? Where can I experience your wines in Bangkok or somewhere else? Uh, in Bangkok, lots of um, high-end hotels and restaurants would okay. have our wine, so you can uh, check the wine list, and also wine shops in Bangkok too. Yep. And uh, so, if you would like to know where to purchase our wine, you can also uh, inquire with us through our Facebook or Instagram. We can cool. let you know where to buy. Okay. And if I may ask, which is your favorite wine? Which one you would? definitely recommend wow. to, to, to buy okay. and try. I, I think right now I would recommend the 2021 Durif, which is won the trophy for best wine from Southeast Asia. It's limited, uh, it's only a couple of thousand bottles left, not not even actually okay. 1,200 bottles left. And another wine I would like to recommend is our Viognier. Uh, it's a white wine, but it's very aromatic and we are the only producer of this wine in Thailand. Great.